Yeah, this has been amazing and just to watch Tom and Luke come out and compete in person in the second year uh, that they've held it here at Myrtle has been awesome. I've been a huge Stoltman fan, so I'm gl glad to see them compete. I think Tom's going to keep it and stay at the top one. Uh, Hooper right now is a couple points behind. I think he can claim at least the top three and I would like to see the Tex-Mex claim the podium as a new competitor. <sighs> I get, get good sleep, but after these long days and this weather in uh, Myrtle Beach, I feel very tired and I'm thinking all the time, why I do this? <laughs> maybe, maybe I should just say, okay, that's it. Today I don't do more. <laughs> maybe relax, but I don't like to quit fighting. That's why I was very disappointed about up. Apple on Axel, I can't clean it, and I thought maybe better save energy for the uh, next event. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the day of reckoning. Big question on everyone's lips. What's the question? <laughs> how, long, how long did it take me to grow this beard? The nerves is next level. It's not that you're nervous about what may go wrong. You're just nervous about wanting the very best for your athletes because you're so invested in them. That's the biggest key for the whole day is tempering the nerves, my own included, and making sure that the athletes are all primed but don't get ahead of themselves. Too excited yet to go for a nap. <laughs> so, first event Conan's. Got Pablo out first just now. Pablo's gonna set a good standard because Pablo's amazing at Conan's. Um, so it's just going to start setting the distance for the guys to uh, try and get. Everyone's getting warmed up. Big Tommy Stolt just doing the uh, world's lowest Zerka pickup for him there on everyone else's yoke height. Uh, but yeah, people are feeling good. I think with day four, you kind of get a bit of a second wind. All the athletes feel a little better today than they did yesterday. So hopefully be a good showing from everyone. We just need to execute. We're going out last, so we'll have a very definitive point to hit. It's not necessarily about winning the event, few technical changes, a few tweaks. I'm sort of really excited to see the work we've done pay off. Would you like just to continue with the world's strongest man? Come on, Lou! Come on, Lou! Get it locked in! That wasn't the best run. I think when you do a pickup like that and you step back, it's hard in the moment, but sometimes it's better to, you're allowed a little bit of the, the kind of markers you're allowed to put down. And sometimes it's better to just put down and be like, right, let's start again. Because when he stepped back, he'd like lose his rack and uh, rack position and stuff. So might have been a little better to reset there. But it's really difficult in the moment when you hype yourself up and you get ready to go to take that break. We'll just have to see where uh, people people land. Just put your hands together for Ross Pollock. 
Yeah. Yeah, Axel's brutal, yeah. isn't it? All I'm doing is I'm just creating space yeah. through here. Alright guys, I am sharing with you today my little secret weapon is the airway of the Reminded us of last year, the shield wall. The two times SPD world strongest man, the big in Tom Stoltenberg! Go on, Tom! Go on, Tom! Yes, Tommy, come on! Keep going! Big deadlift, win beautiful. the stones, yep. it's two points clear. <laughs> All right, so we're, uh, what are we, five, no, four events down. Obviously, you've got one event done a day two. I think Tommy's in a great position. He did really well yesterday, obviously, with that, that keg toss throw. And that first event was big, obviously, getting past Hooper. And he's got a bit of a, a, bit of a cushion, but... This one's really important for him. Tom's a great deadlift for reps, obviously we know that, uh, but he needs to make sure that he's, you know, not dropping any points to Hooper on this one. The, the, the great thing with Tom is, he's always got that like ace in the hole, you know, with the stones. So even if he's like a point behind going into the stones, we know he's gonna win. Um, but I think, you know, for him, he don't wanna be leaving it to the last minute with, with World. So I'm pretty sure Tom's gonna come out here and get a good, really good setup done on this deadlift and, and hopefully have a, a little lead going into the stones. Yeah, I think A reps at this point in the competition as well. You got to remember this, obviously. You know, the fourth day the guy's been competing, okay. uh, and all those events beforehand. I think A reps will probably be a really good score. What's your predictions for this event? How many reps is he going to win? It's 373 for reps, what do you think? You, not, you want to see some more warm-ups first before you tell us? With three reps, give it up for Ivar Schmaltzelli! Who's rooting for Singleton? Ooh. Who's rooting for Stoltman? Come on, Luke! Oh! Come on, another! One more, come on, at least! Finish! There we go, you got a fifth, Luke! Don't break, Luke, let's go! One more, Luke! Pull! Yes! Come on, Luke! Come on, Luke! Oh! So close. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. He's so close to that fifth. The fifth would have been cherry on top, but I was happy before. This late in the comp means his deadlift's improving and going real well. I'm buzzing. With six reps, let's hear it from Wesley Dowinski. Let's get this place pumped! Seven. We have a new leader in the deadlift with eight left. Oh, that's good. Give it up for Matthew Lang. Perfect. 
Send off, off, man. Send man. The winning has to be one from his man. Moving out. So Mitch got we get six. We're six. Seven. Six. Let's hit it. Mitch got six. So Tom's on. Tom at seven. Uh, so he should have a three. Four and a half maybe. This time. Three or four and a half point lead. A very big league we're in stone. So unless something crazy happens. Let's hear it one more time from Pablo Koyaka. Three times. Hey. Not gonna see anything yet. We just had a wag photo. We call it swag, stopmen, wives and girlfriends. And colour obviously. Swag. Swags, yeah, that's what we are. So glamorous. Sweaty knee sleeves, tacky. <laughs> Heavy. I put on knees and I was, okay, wait, wait, wait. It feels scary. No way. Evan Singleton and Matthew Rag. Deserves a lot of credit as well. That's one of his greatest creations, if not oh, one of his now, definitely. <laughs> Tom Stoltman is a hell of a man. Uh, two brothers are, are it's quite unique. Uh, I think it's great to see Luke's pride. It's wonderful. And can I just say, Mitchell Hooper is a hell of a sportsman. A hell of a sportsman. I'm also pleased to hear Tom say such lovely things about me. Uh, you can win any title in the world, but the only title in the world that matters is World's Strongest Man, in my humble opinion. This is where it counts, this is where the true World's Strongest Man is crowned, and Tom's done that three times, so, you know, you can win Arnold's, you can win Rogue's, you can win everything, but from, me, from my point of view, and I think all of us can be in here, this is the title to win, this is the true definition of World's Strongest Man. I'm just buzzing for him, man, I'm so happy. Um, yeah. Overwhelmed with emotion. Um, just mad. Three times world's strongest man, Big Tom Stoltman. Let's make it six.